Hi everyone, today I will show you how to create a request a code form in WordPress. So let's just begin. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do is to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. And here what I need to do, I have to search for request a quad. So I have to install this plugin as you can see here by eMarket Design. So we have to install this. Now let's just click on activate. So as you can see, this is the dashboard of request a quit plugin. Okay, so now what we need to do, we actually have to go inside the plugins. Okay, so we can go it from here and we can also go from here as well. Okay, so if I just click here, you will be able to see all the available quotes. But right now, as you can see here, there is no code on our quotes. Alright, so to create the code or to add this on our WordPress website, what we need to do, we can simply create one from here and we can also do it from the code setting. So let's click on code settings again and let's just go inside the forms. Alright, so I have to copy the short code of this form. So let's just copy this from here and then what we need to do, we have to create a new page. So let's click on add new page. And you will be able to see our new page here. So let's just add the title. Okay, so that would be request a uh, quote. And then what can we do? We just have to add the short code here. Okay, so here what we need to do, we have to click on the add block and we have to search for short code here. So let's click on it and then you have to paste the short code that you have copied earlier. So let's just go back here and you can see this. We have copied this one, so we have to paste it here. All right, so now let's click on publish. All right, so the page has been published. So now let's click on view page and you will be able to see our request accord. And it has all the service, first name, last name, address, city, zip code. And you can see this other detail here. All right, so now if I wanted to customize this, I would have to go back here. And from here, you can see the option of edit layout. So I will simply click here. And now you will be able to see the options that we have seen earlier in our request a code form. So from here, I can change the order of these fields. Okay, you can see here, we can add the draw, we can add divider here, we can add HTML, and we can also add the page here. Okay, so if I wanted to add the divider, I'll just simply click here. And now you can see this, the divider has been added. So now I can simply drag this here. All right, and in a similar way, you can add the divider. And if you wanted to add the new row, you can simply do it from here. And if you want to add the HTML and add a page, you can simply do it. So if I just click on any of these fields, you can see here I can change the label from here. Uh, I can change the property whether it is required or not. I can change the size of it, and I can add the description, and I can add the placeholder text, and in the last, I can also add CSS class as well. Okay. And if I just click on settings, you can see this in settings, we have service. So I can also do the changes in it as well. All right. So this is how we can do the modification or the customization in our quad form. All right. So this is how we can do the customization in the quad form. And this is how you can create a request, a quad form in the WordPress. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel.